On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, we're going to look at Topaz Photo AI's new update. This is version 1.3.4. Topaz have added two new noise removal models, and they would be normal version 2 beta and strong version 2 beta. These new models will eventually be replacing the old models. We're going to take a look at this new update today. I'm your host, Dave Cully. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. The new update for Topaz Photo AI gives us two new remove noise models, and they would be normal version 2 beta and strong version 2 beta, which will eventually replace the original normal and strong models. On the screen right now, you can see the changes since version 1.3.3. You may want to pause and take a look at this. There's been some bug fixes and things like that. But today, I really want to look at these two new remove noise models. I'm going to cut right to the chase today. This will be a shorter video. I have this image. It's a 6400 ISO image. It's a TIFF file because I'll be honest, I do not work in the raw format with Topaz Photo AI. I like to do all of my noise reduction and sharpening once I'm inside of Photoshop. That is my workflow. Right now, Topaz Photo AI has used its autopilot settings, and that's my starting point here. Photo AI has removed noise using the normal model and it has also sharpened the image using standard. I have the image zoomed into 100%. And again, these are the autopilot settings. So my strength for the normal is 19 and the detail is at 1. Now, if I zoom in, I want to show you something here. If I zoom into 200% and let's look at this area down here. You see that noise in there? And again, this is the old model. If I take this strength slider and I start to drag this to the right, and I'm going to get really aggressive here. And I want to find out if Topaz Photo AI can get rid of that noise that it has left behind. Look, it's not getting rid of this noise right here. Even if I go the whole way over to 100%, give it a second here to update, you'll notice it has not removed all that noise. Now check this out. This is the new model. As soon as I click on normal version 2, and this will be its default setting, give it a second or two to update itself here. And now I want you to notice every bit of noise is gone here. So that is a big improvement right off the bat. I went ahead and reset this image to the autopilot settings and zoomed out to 100%. But notice the sharpness of this flower. Now I'm using the normal remove noise model, and I want to show you something very interesting. Take notice of the sharpness of this flower. Now watch what happens when I change over to the normal version 2 beta noise removal model. Notice how the flower has gotten sharper. Now they've done something here to improve this. I realize this is not a sharpened model, but it has made the sharpening of the image better. So there is a big change there in this new model. And now for another observation. I went ahead and zoomed into 200%. And right now I'm in the normal remove noise model at full strength at 100%. And you can see the noise is in there. Now check this out. If I switch over to the strong model, the normal strong model, the original strong model, you can see the noise is gone. But check this out. If I take this strength the whole way back to 1, that's the lowest setting, you don't really see any effect there. And this has been a problem I've noticed with these older remove noise models. When you slide those sliders, not much ever really happens. Now we're going to see if that changes with these new models. But you'll notice with strong, I can get rid of that noise. But if I go to normal, even at 100% strength, I cannot get rid of the noise. And autopilot setting did choose normal. So remember that as well. Now what I want you to notice is I'm going to drag this over to an area that's out of focus. So we can see the area where this normal model has removed the noise in this area. Not over here, but here it has. But watch what happens if I take this strength slider and drag it the whole way off. Give it a second to update here. You'll notice the noise is still gone. This may have increased a little bit here, this noise, but this noise has not altered at all. We're going to see if that changes with these new models. And now, are you ready for another observation? Okay, so I went back and reset to the autopilot settings. 
and I'm using the recommended setting of remove noise at normal. Now remember, even if I take this strength the whole way up to 100%, I cannot get rid of this noise here. But I'm going to go ahead and click on normal version 2 beta. And you'll notice after this updates itself, that noise is gone. Now, here's something that has been improved. If I take this strength slider and I start to drag it back, I'm going to take it back to like 19. And you'll notice you can see noise in here now. Now we can actually adjust the noise amount. So if you want to leave a little bit of noise in the image, you can do it now. And so... Let me start to pull it to the right. And I think it was around 28, if I'm not mistaken. Give it a chance to update itself here. Okay, so now that noise is gone. There might be just a slight amount of noise in there. And again, if I go to the reset to autopilot settings and come to normal version two, yeah, that was at 28. So I could take that back and add a little bit of noise in there. Let's try 25 and see what we get here. So there's 25. There's just a slight amount of noise there. I don't know if you can see that with the YouTube compression, but I just have a slight amount of noise. And sometimes I do like to let a little bit of noise in there. And that always frustrated me with Topaz Photo AI. I could never kind of pull back the noise just a little bit to let a little bit of noise through. So to me, this is a, a big improvement. Now, the last thing I want to show you deals with sharpening. Now, right now, I have set my normal version to beta to where I like it, just letting a slight amount of noise show through there. This is where I want it. Okay, and now we're going to look at Sharpen. Now, Topaz Photo AI has chosen standard for me, but I usually get a little bit of uh, motion blur when I take my images because my shutter speed sometimes is a little slower. And if I move just a little bit, and I'm usually using like a 200 millimeter lens, and it's kind of heavy, and sometimes I get a little bit of a camera shake in there. Photo AI usually helps me out here when I use like motion blur. So I'm going to click on motion blur and see if I can help this. So I'm going to click on motion blur, and I don't see much of a change here, but I'm going to take the strength and I'm going to start to pull it to the right. And I'm going to take it over to say right about here, say like 45. Okay, so look at the flower. Here is the before. I'm going to shut sharpen off. Here's the before. And now here is the after. So you can see it looks a lot sharper. Now, I want you to notice something here. Watch what happens when I click on the normal noise removal model. If you look over here on this pedal, you can see like an artifact, like a white line around there up in here as well and if you look over here this does not look really natural here and there's like this little line in here doesn't look quite right because that area is slightly out of focus but now let me go and click on the normal version 2 beta model and the artifact is gone this looks a lot better over here and this looks more natural over here because it is slightly out of focus and also, all this area of the flower here that should be in focus does look a lot sharper as compared to when I click over to the normal remove noise model. You see how much softer that got in there? Now I'll go back to the version 2 beta. So who would think that an improved noise removal model would help out sharpening? But it really does. Hey, let me know if you've tried this new update yet. Are you finding similar results as I am? I think they're really going in the right direction, and I think they're really starting to hone in on Topaz Photo AI, improving it more and more each update. And they find problems, and also let them know. They want to know. If you look right here, it says, Normal version 2 will replace normal soon. So please send us your feedback on the new model. And there's a link right here. If you click on that, that'll open up the discussion group where you can reply and tell them if you're having good results or bad results. They want to know because that is the way they will improve this product when we give them our feedback. It's very important. Well, there it is, everyone. This is the latest version for Topaz Photo AI version 1.3.4. Just some observations. I wanted to show you these two new noise removal models, version 2, which will soon replace the original noise removal models. 
Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.